Um, I remember one of our first rehearsals, that was one of the first songs I actually brought to the ministry as well. Um, one of my originals. And I was so nervous to actually teach everyone. And we actually, um, I didn't have verses for it. So we all wrote the verses together. Um, well, the verse for that song. We wrote it together. Um, so that song, Your Great Love, that means a lot to me. That was written from our, kind of like the ministry's thing, the theme scripture, Romans 8. You know, what shall separate us from the love of God? You know, this lists a whole bunch of things that, that cannot, like nothing can separate us from the love of God. Um, so that's what that song was written. Honestly, I, uh, I've told, I've told um, some of the people this you know, all the time when um, the love of God really hit a certain level of, a certain level of understanding in terms of the love of, the love of God hit me. You know, I was just working one day and I was just, uh, you know, while I was working, I was just reading a devotion and it just, it, it hit me, you know, the love of God in terms of the gospel, in terms of how, you know, uh, his love for us and how his love is what caused himself to really sacrifice um, make the ultimate sacrifice uh, through Jesus Christ to save us and you know the Bible talks about how uh, scarcely uh, rarely would a man die for a righteous person but you know um, uh, much less a person who's sinful and, and does wrong and, and runs away from God right and you know it just shows you that it, you know God went against the grain to save us and it doesn't make sense logically nobody you would say why would God do that but when you have a certain understanding of the love of God it just blows your mind and so when we sing your love understanding that it's unconditional and that I, I ought to let everybody know this love because you can't get this love anywhere else. It's very important that you understand God's love when you're singing a song about God's love because we all understand that God's love is constant and it remains and it goes continually. So if you're not in a place where you don't understand God's love, it makes it hard. So it made it hard for me to sing that song. But um, over the course and time of really um, singing the song, looking at the lyrics, it became more of a lifestyle to me than a song. It became more to me than just singing chorus, verse, chorus. It became a um, lifestyle change. Your love taught me how to love. Um, Life has put me in some positions where I made the conscious decision not to love anymore, not to be that person, to be cold, to be robotic. And constantly God proves his love, shows me how to love, shows me the capacity of his love, and shows me love within myself so I can never ignore it because it's just a part of who I am. So that song speaks to that. The love of God is it's a very powerful thing. It covers a multitude of sins, and this, when I sing that song, I just think of that. Like, this love is so powerful. It covers everything, all my flaws, all my wrongs. His love covers it all. Yes, I do have people in this world that do love me, thank God for that, but there is nothing like his love, like absolutely nothing like his love, it can't compare to anything. Through everything that I've ever gone through, through anything that anybody ever goes through, God's love is constant. He's always there, never changes, he remains the same, today, yesterday, forever, and even when you're not faithful to him or even when you're not um, loving him, He's still loving you, no matter what you do. Nothing you can do can separate God's love from you.
affected my vocal cords. <laughs> That's how it impacted my life, okay? Your love ruined my life. <laughs> my voice is no longer the same after your love. Um, you can talk to my specialist that checked out my vocal cords there. Can I say vocal suicide? <laughs> okay, sorry. Just honestly, the first thing coming vocal suicide. <laughs> So, about that recording, I wasn't going to go, I'll tell you that much. Because of that song, I wasn't going to go record it. There is three million different versions of that song, and each and every single one of them, it got higher. That's how it affected my personal life. Y'all ruined my voice. Just say it. That song was very easy for me. I had no problems with that song at all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, be lifted higher. Let your name, let your name be lifted higher. You said if we lift you up, you will draw all men unto you, Jesus. So we take this time to lift you up, God.